A former federal prosecutor is with me now. He says that he sees President Obama as extremely divisive, so much so he is suing the president. The suit also includes the founders of Black Lives Matter, so that is to say Al Sharpton, Nation of Islam leader Louis Farrakhan, and former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder. It accuses all of them of inciting a race war that led eventually to the fatal Dallas police shootings and seeks damages of more than $2 billion. Judicial Watch founder Larry Clayman is with me now. Larry, welcome to the program. We are glad to have you. Why $2 billion? I know I'm focusing on the money first, but what would you do with that money if you won? A good question, dear. The reason it's $2 billion is this is a class action, and we hope that law enforcement officers around the country, I came forward, I'm the plaintiff, I'm in effect the guinea pig here, I am in effect a law enforcement officer, I founded Judicial Watch, I founded Freedom Watch now, they can find that at freedomwatchusa.org, just they want to see a copy of the complaint. But that amount of damage is for everybody who's been harmed here. And it's law enforcement across the board, whether it's black, white, or whatever color, race, or creed. Uh, police have been trashed, law enforcement been trashed. We saw two bailiffs killed yesterday in Michigan. It's a severe crisis. You know, this president uh, would like to think that he's king, but he's no Martin Luther King. In fact, he's closer to Louis Farrakhan and Al Sharpton in terms of the way he does things, which, and Newt Gingrich is exactly right. Uh, he has sent race relations back to the early part of the, the uh, 1950s, as Larry, far as I'm, I'm concerned. And I think somebody you, needs to put their foot forward. Well, as you are doing, I just want to ask you, what is the most egregious? And it sounds like you have a list of many. You have many people who agree with you. In your mind, what is the most egregious right. example? Well, the most egregious example is not representing all the American people, President Obama. He only has a problem if there's crime against blacks or crimes against Muslims or black Muslims for that matter. But he doesn't represent the rest of the country and the people are beginning to see that. They see it in terms of five dead police officers in Dallas. The reality is, is that you should be the president of all the people, not just your people. And certainly there's been discrimination against African Americans. That's terrible. I consider myself a civil rights lawyer in effect and in what I do. I try to keep the government honest and treat everybody the same. But he's not treating other people the same. And unless it's his people, uh, there's no problem here. We never heard him speak out until just today when white police officers were killed. He doesn't talk about the fact that black crime against whites and black crime against blacks is much higher than it is black crime against uh, whites and, and others. And, and this is a, a reality here that needs to be addressed. It's an inconvenient truth for the president that, that African Americans are stopped sometimes unfairly, but most of the time, because the incidence of black crime against their own people and against whites is much higher. And that Larry, needs to be said, and someone needs to say it. Larry, let me ask you this. I mean, there are numerous sets of statistics, and I want you to come back because I want to go through them another day. But as far as class action, I want to focus on your suit. How many people sure. have joined the class action, and what is the timing of your suit? At, at present, I just filed it within the last day or so. I am the only plaintiff, but we're looking to get people to join it in Dallas, the law enforcement, and around the country. Everything came to a head in Dallas, and we want this to be adjudicated fairly by a court of law and a jury of our peers. So I hope that many people will come to us, freedomwatchusa.org, and join this case. It's about racial equality. It's not about prejudice. It's meaning everybody should be treated equally. Larry, come back like to have the conversation with the stats. In the meantime, I thank you very much for the time. Larry Clayman. You're welcome. Thank you, Deirdre. With me there. He